ever wanted to be able to access your photos, movies and music on your big screen or home theatre setup, even if they're located on a computer or some other network device? Well, now you can, because the PS3 can connect wirelessly to your computer and other devices, letting you enjoy the content you have stored on those devices on your TV, without plugging in a single cable. It might all sound a bit techy to start, but relax, it's actually really easy. So take a seat while we guide you through the setup, step by step in this video. First, let's explain some basics about a home network. You may not know it, chances are you've already got a home network running in your house. As it's made up of anything that connects your computer, printer, tablet or any other devices to each other or the same internet connection. In the home, these devices are usually connected by your modem and router. While there are lots of different wired and wireless combinations, they all provide a central hub to get you started on connecting your home devices. To make connecting various devices in the home easy, the Digital Living Network Alliance Industry Standard was established, or DLNA for short. It ensures that any certified device, no matter which brand it is, will be able to connect with any other DLNA device in your home network. It's easy to spot a DLNA certified device by looking out for this logo on the packaging or checking the website for more details. Once your PS3 and PC are both turned on and connected to the same router or modem, you're ready to get started. First up, you need to set up a media server. In this example, we'll use a PC and Windows Media Player 11, as it's a common application on most PCs. All you need to do is follow this simple five-step guide. 1. Start Windows Media Player 11. 2. Select Media Sharing from the Library menu. 3. Check Share Media. 4. From the list of devices under the Share Media checkbox, your PS3 will be detected as a device. Highlight it and select Allow. 5. Select OK to complete setup of the media server. Too easy. If you're a bit rusty on how to use Windows Media Player 11, have a look at the Windows Media Player 11 help feature. This will give you a quick and easy tutorial to help you get the most out of it. Of course, there are other programs that do the same job, including some that run on Macs. Okay, so once you've set up the DLNA media server on your computer, you'll see a media server icon automatically pop up on your PS3's cross media bar under the photos, music and video icons. Just press the cross button and you'll see all the available folders and files familiar to you that can be played on your PS3. Just make sure you're accessing the media server under the relevant cross media bar icon. For example, to view photos, make sure you've selected the media server under the photos icon. So whether it's flicking through holiday snaps, watching movies, or listening to your digital music collection, you can now do it all from one place. Don't forget, the PS3 can also offer a whole range of entertainment when connected online through the PlayStation Network. Be sure to check out the full set of guides at au.playstation.com forward slash help hub and learn how to unleash all your PS3's entertainment options 